The truth is not what you want it to be. It is what it is, and you must bend to its power or live a lie. Miyamoto Musashi. My friends, happy new year when the markets open on Tuesday. It will be the 3rd of January here in the States. We are closed <clears throat> on Monday. Where you live in other parts of the world, perhaps your markets are open. Ours will not be on Monday, opening up Tuesday. But let's look at where this last week left us. Not much going on on Friday. The only thing that really moved a lot were 20-year bonds, 20-year U.S. government bonds, and they were down. But let's start with the S&P 500. It was down 0.26%. What do we see really going on in the last many days? Just sort of a sideways slide here. Not a whole lot happening. Things tried to bump up there on Thursday and then just sort of fell off of that on Friday. Nothing took off. We're below the 200 EMA and we are back in the red on that half day chart. We are in the red on the two-day chart, again bottoming out in about the same area over the last many days. And on the weekly chart, we are in the green on the STC red down candles above the 200 EMA. So what we're really looking for as this week starts, are we going to continue to see this down movement on our weekly chart? And are we going to go below into the downtrend territory, particularly on our big chart? Remember, all things being equal, the market tends to move in the direction of the largest chart. That's the biggest wave. So we're waiting to see how that sorts itself out over the next year. Remember the S&P 500 is 500 of our biggest companies, international companies, a big broad chunk of the market there. So we see that going down overall as the new year starts. It's going to tell us quite a bit. That is where we are as we end the year on the S&P 500. So we'll watch as we start off in this new year. Now, where are we on the NASDAQ 100? Let's first zoom into the smallest chart. We can see we are below the 200 EMA, down 0.06% on Friday. And really, all we've seen again is some down movement, a little bump up on Thursday, and then sort of sideways and down on Friday. Red on the STC, as I said earlier, below the 200 EMA on the two-day chart. It too is red on the STC, down candles below the 200 EMA. Now, different than the S&P 500, we're below the 200 EMA. We've already gone into the downtrend on the tech stock. Still green on the STC, waiting to see when that flips over and how hard the down movement is going to be as we jump into this next year. Inflation, as we are looking at fuel prices, gasoline going up, has been going up for a while. Oil is there on the horizon. Like I said, inflation, war in Europe, all sorts of things going on that may very well continue to push these charts down, and that's okay. We'll take advantage of those down movements with our inverse fund practice trades. Now let's take a look at U.S. government bonds. On this half-day chart, we can see where things have cycled through. They went above, and then starting on the Monday, the 19th of December, moving below the 200 EMA on this half-day chart, down for the day 1.11%. Now, when we look at where bonds are on the two-day chart, we can see we've now got five two-day candles. Went red on the STC on this prior candle. That was the Wednesday, Thursday candle, the 28th and 29th of December. Five down candles red on the weekly. We are still green, and of course, we are still well below the 200 EMA. And we'll see as the year starts. If we're really after five weeks of up movement, we're going to roll over and start heading down into the negative territory. Again, if we can get our STC on this half-day chart to reset for us, we can, of course, jump into some of that down movement on what? That would be TBF, Tango, Bravo, Foxtrot. What is that? That is the inverse fund for 
20-year bonds, and it goes up when 20-year bonds TLT goes down. It's a single inverse something for you to practice. If that does open itself up as a possibility, so be looking for that. Now, gold. Let's look at gold. Gold was up for the day 0.47%. We have two days of up movement in gold. We've gone to the green here. Now, again, what is gold going to be doing for us? Well, we shall see. It did take off. How many of you guys jumped into that on Friday? Or are you so trepidatious after having none of these prior bump-ups seem to work for us? Each time that happened, rolled right back over again. What is that, like four times, maybe five times, where gold tried to take off and then died on the vine? Is it going to do it again? Or is this the takeoff? You can only get hit in the head so many times till you finally say the hell with it. I'm going to wait for better weather. It's like going sailing in a storm when you just keep getting beaten. We look at where things are on the two day. It is in the green, has been in the green, uh, at least green STC for a while. Pushed above that 200 EMA back on Thursday, the 1st of December. Only had a two day period where it popped back down and touched it on a red candle and then been going up, but lots of indecision in these green spinning tops. This is the first that we see of a red up candle with, well, it even has a little wick on the bottom, a little wick on the bottom too. So again, you know, not that strong up movement that we would like to see, but maybe it's taking off now. You know, we did blow through on the weekly chart back on the 7th of November, and we've seen things just continue to move up. So the weekly has been nice and strong, even with a bunch of roiling on that two-day, and in particular, the half-day chart. So we'll continue to keep an eye on gold as we move into this new year. Lastly, we'll go to Bitcoin. Hopefully Bitcoin, maybe. Maybe is it finding a bottom? We don't know. Uh, I was up for the day 0.79%. We saw that happen uh, later in the day with Bitcoin. We look at where things are on the two-day chart. And of course, big movement down, then a few days of some up movement, and then down movement again. We look at where we are on the weekly, and this is sort of the important thing at this point with all of the beatdown in Bitcoin and the problems in the crypto market and the continued negative news. We, of course, had hoped that Bitcoin was settling out somewhere around that uh, 1820 mark or so. And then, of course, we had that really hammered down there to the $15 mark, 15 and a quarter. And it's just sort of cycling along in that area. Maybe it's building a foundation. Maybe it's building a bottom there. And as we get into the new year, at some point it will take off. We'll be ready for it. We'll be watching. We'll be waiting. Thank you so much, my friends, for being with us. Don't forget, Patreon members, we do have our live question and answer call in on Wednesday, January the 4th. Put that on your calendar. Go ahead and get your questions. Your favorite ETFs or stocks should like us to help you backtrack. If you're not a Patreon member yet and want to support the great work we do, we think it's great here. And we get lots of, uh, we appreciate all the good emails you send us for how helpful we are to you and how much you like the training. If you want to support us, please go to our Patreon page, Charting Wealth. We would appreciate your support at any of the three levels we have to offer. God bless my friends. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth. World Headquarters.